Hello, my loved ones, and welcome to the Soulmate Journey Empath. This reading is going to be weekly energies for the week of October 12th through October 19th. So for uh, this week, I was guided to the Stone Aura Quartz. Now, uh, Aura Quartz comes in many different colors, and essentially what it is is a quartz crystal cluster that has been fumed and I believe that this aura quartz has been fumed with titanium to give it that iridescent edge. Um, for those of you who resonate with energy from the Pleiades, um, the iridescent um, light is a light code um, that is often downloaded from those that are working with Pleiadian guides. But more importantly, the intuitive message in working with this stone for this week is to see the miraculous in the ordinary, to see um, the multidimensionality of every situation this week, that it is not uh, just as it appears that there are many layers, many dimensions, um, just like there are to this reality, to every situation okay so guides my guides coming through um to tell us that collectively a power stone for us this week october 12th to the 19th is aura quartz all right so let's get into the messages we'll be using the psychic tarot for the heart and let's see what our overall energies are for this week if you have not subscribed already, I encourage you to subscribe. Hit the little notification bell for updates on my newest uploaded content. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. That information is in the description box below. As well as the information to schedule a personal reading. Uh, the link to my Etsy storefront, Soulmate Journey Reads, is in the description box below as well as PayPal, Cash App, an Etsy wish list, and an Amazon wish list if you are feeling generous and would like to exchange energy by donating to the channel. So, let's see here. Two more shuffles, they say. This is a good shuffling. Good shuffling. I like the way that the messages are moving smoothly. Seems like much smoother energy than we've had in the past couple of weeks. So let's see what's coming in for us, all right? What is the overall energy for today? All right. We have the tower coming out for today, Monday. Let's get Tuesday, please. There is Tuesday. We have the energy of the Hierophant. And I'm just going to scoot these things over. Make room for these messages. Wednesday, please. Wednesday, we have the energy of the Two of Wands. Let's go Thursday, please. Thursday, we have the energy of the Lovers. Friday, we have the energy of the Nine of Pentacles. Let's get Saturday, please. Saturday, we have the energy of the Two of Pentacles. And Sunday... One more message for Sunday. Sunday, we have the energy of the Nine of Cups. So overall, for the week, um, the bottom of the deck energy is the Eight of Wands. This is fire energy. This is fast-moving ideas, fast-moving thoughts, fast-moving communication. You may be working on digital projects this week. Um, true for a lot of us working from home uh, during the coronavirus. So let's get into these individual energies today. Um, this is Uranus energy coming in with the tower here. And <clears throat> the tower is a card of divine intervention here. It's number 16, major arcana in the traditional tarot. One and six adding to seven. Sevens are about obstacles that require our perseverance, that require our strength, that require our patience. Um, can't help but notice this pink with the heart chakra and also this appearance of wings. So 
Whatever is happening today, um, I'm noticing a lot of heart chakra and solar plexus chakra being affected by whatever is coming in. This could be information. This could be an epiphany. Um, but something is coming in. This is divine intervention that is changing the direction of something for the good. It is deconstructing any foundations that have not been built solidly so that we can rebuild those foundations. So this could be any aspect of your life that tower energy may be coming in today. It may change the course that you are going on, but this is divinely guided, uh, divine protection and divine energy coming in there. So for tomorrow, for Tuesday, we have the energy of the Hierophant, Major Arcana, number five. Um, having these energies of the Tower and the Hierophant come in for Monday and Tuesday tells me that there is going to be some shakeup in uh, routine, some new information, some new idea. It doesn't always have to be bad. Um, actually, it's almost always for the good. But there is some lesson being obtained from this, some spiritual lesson happening that is going to solidify on Tuesday. And I love this progression as we go to the energy of Wednesday with this two of wands. This is making a decision. This is having two different paths to go down. Um, but what I'm getting is that this tower moment with this spiritual lesson is really going to be able to help you make the decision um, to proceed on one of two paths here come Wednesday. So for Thursday, Major Arcana coming back, a lot of Major Arcana this week. Uh, Thursday, we have the energy of the lovers. This again is about having two paths, a decision to make. Um, and the energy of the lovers traditionally is depicted with this aspect of divine intervention. It's about being in balance, making a choice that is divinely guided and um, definitely related to a choice. Um, what I'm seeing here is that um, there are basically three energies coming in this week and some of them are progressing through like a couple of days. So Monday and Tuesday are very connected. Um, Wednesday and Thursday also very connected in terms of a decision. Um, there is a desire to make a decision Wednesday, decision being made on Thursday. On Friday, we have the energy of the Nine of Pentacles. This is Earth energy. Nines being about attainment, being about uh, reflection, about individual energy here. So Nine of Pentacles is about feeling strong and capable on your own. Um, this could be material. Um, this could also just be in your life in general. But... Um, for many of you um, that are uh, making a choice about uh, employment, you're really going to be happy with the decision that you are making. Now, if this a decision is about something else, still see a lot of positive energy here in the Nine of Pentacles. This is pre-Empress energy. This is confident. This is capable. This is um, independent energy here. For Saturday, we have the Two of Pentacles energy. This is balancing, having a lot going on and trying to keep your projects, your ideas, your energy balanced on Saturday. Um, for, for many of us uh, working through the week, having the Saturday off, this seems like a pretty busy Saturday for us collectively. But then on Sunday... We have the energy of the Nine of Cups. This is beautiful to have these two nines, the Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, um, especially because this is the attainment of individual things here with these two nines, okay? 
This is feeling like you have your material world under control and can handle it independently. This is feeling like you have your emotional world under control and are pursuing what makes you happy. So absolutely beautiful energies uh, coming through for us for the week. So let's get some advice from the Soul's Journey Oracle and see what would like to come through in terms of what these lessons may be regarding. What are the major themes? What are the major lessons that we're experiencing collectively this week? And I really love this because I'm noticing as I am looking back at the aura courts with these two nines, um, the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups is that again, you're, you're seeing the multidimensionality. You're seeing what is miraculous, the multi layers of things. And I think that looking at things from this new perspective is going to collectively help us get to these two nines here. Also, um, a clear audience message from my guides. This may be a goal, an objective, a path that you have been trying to figure out since this 9-9 nine -nine portal. So let's see, what are the lessons? What are the collective lessons for this week, please? And on the bottom of the deck, we do have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. This is all about the sacral and crown chakras here. So big message that if there's some information that comes in that has taught us a lesson, that practicing forgiveness is going to heal and balance us in both the sacral and the crown chakras this week. So, we have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Absolutely. It's it's looking at, you know, a crystal that has been fumed with titanium um, and in imagining what other magic it could have. Um, being able to imagine, to perceive the path ahead of you. Um, so that you're co-creating it with your guides. And next we have discipline, a lot of crown chakra energy here. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. All right. So big messages for this week. There is some type of divine intervention, some type of course correction coming in that is going to alter the way that we are thinking and responding to uh, the situations in our life, there's a choice that needs to be made um, and a choice toward our own stability and happiness is really being highlighted in the spread this week. All right. So as always, my darlings, I am sending you so, so much healing, love and light. Bye bye.